Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to integrate Airtable with Gmail. This integration can help you keep your data organized and easily accessible in one place. So let's start. First, make sure that you have an Airtable account and a Google account. Once you have those set up, go to your Airtable base and click on your profile icon at the top right corner of the page. In this menu, click on Integrations, then connect new account. Here, you can see several applications that you can integrate with your Airtable account. Look for Gmail and click on it. Here, sign into your Google account and allow access by clicking continue. After that, your Airtable account will now be integrated with your Gmail account. Another way of doing this integration is by using Zapier. Go to zapier.com and log into your account. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free, and once you're logged in, click on this Create Zap button in the top left corner of the screen. Here, first change the name of the Zap. I'll name it Airtable with Gmail. Next, search for Airtable as your trigger app and select the trigger that you want to use. For example, you can choose New Record. This means that every time a new record is added to the table, it will trigger the integration. After that, click on continue. Here, connect your Airtable account and select the base and table that you want to use. Then click on continue. After that, test your trigger to confirm that the right account is connected and that your trigger is set up correctly. Once the record was found, click continue to proceed. Now let's move on to Gmail. Search for Gmail and select the action that you want to use. For example, you can choose Send Email. This means that every time a new record is created in Airtable, Zapier will automatically send an email using your Gmail account. After that, click on Continue. Here, you'll need to connect your Gmail account to Zapier as well. Once you have connected your Gmail account, Zapier will ask you to set up the action. Simply click on the fields and select the appropriate data from Airtable. Once you're done, test the Zap to make sure it is working properly. If it is, you can now publish the Zap and turn it on. Then start automating your workflow. So that's it. If you wanted to know how to integrate Airtable with Gmail, that is the easiest way I know how. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, kindly give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.